Welcome to Darlington for the running of the Southern 300. I'm a poor for Jeff Brain to the outside is Crash B fan. Gary May is third, fourth is Keith Powell, and Luke Rainey is fifth. CJ Parker, your points there, starts eighth. So, outside lane, not the place to be here at Darlington. So, you're going to have to try and get your way down to the bottom, force your way down to the bottom, even uh, if you want to be competitive and be up front. In this race, is Jeff Bright, Gary May, Luke Rainey all on the inside. They're gonna ha they're gonna be in the best positions for this start. Even Jay Jefferson back there in that 89, they could possibly come out with the top four positions after this is all said and done. So pace cars and 33 laps at Darlington, so it should be a relatively long target series race. And we're gonna have to go green just a few races before the chase. Someone could lock themselves in this time, or someone could keep someone from locking in. The green flag is in the air. We're racing at Darlington. Car got the wall in 3 4. It looks like it was Jack Marshall. He comes off of it, slows the pack down. Jeff Bright clears and leads lap number one. Luke Rainey is up to third. Gary May second. Jay Jefferson gets to fourth. And we only have a few cars that have gotten away. Eight cars, and they got 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. They got cars still stuck side by side on the outside. It's stuff like that. Jeff Bright raced down to three and four. Another car got the wall. Crash B fan that time. Huh. Some we didn't see in practice were, was cars getting the wall. Oh, back there, there were three wide. It looks like Jonathan Reigns got put three wide and got put into the wall by possibly Riley Spurley tube. As now these guys are trying to line up and catch Jeff Wright, who is right now out front. Uh, track position big here at Darlington. But we have seen passes here at Darlington for the race lead just not very common but we have seen them and we could potentially see one here tonight Gary Mays looking on Jeff Bright he has a run he gets to the inside this question Jay Jefferson and Anthony Wonder are side by side back there for fourth when they're stationed to the inside Jefferson we have a new guy up to fourth place it could be Anthony Wonder in the 10 car Jay Jefferson will slide backwards he's gonna lose some more positions as Keith Powell gets to the inside of him Grace Ace Field waiting Crash B fans coming Levi Jones got these three that car they got some more, and then Riley Spurley Tube and others. This field kind of spread out for the cars hitting the walls. Look at Battle for Lee. Gary Mack is underneath Jeff Wright. Just like we said, we have seen lead changes. And one's going to happen right here into three and four. Gary May trying to clear Jeff Wright. Wright trying to stay to the outside and fight as long as he can. And Gary May clears for the race. Lee out to Battle for a second. Luke Rainey gets to the inside of Jeff Wright. And they're side by side down the front stretch into turn one. Luke Ray trying to grab that second position. He has not won this season either. He's looking for a win to get himself into the chase. He clears the five. Now can he run down the third? Gary Ray, who's also looking for a win to get into the chase. Anthony Wendler has a win, but he's like 39th in points. That would not cut it. I doubt he can make it. So another, he's just looking for wins now and see if he can make it. As I believe there are, what, seven cars in this train? Yes, and they got eight and ninth coming, and they got 10th through 12th, and they got 13th all by himself, then 14th to 16th, or 14th to 18th? Yes. Like Buford actually actually get past here. When there, Keith Powell looking underneath them. Powell couldn't get anything done there down the backstretch, though. And that 22 actually looks pretty good there. Like you see, I saw it rotating off the corner. is a little bit lower. That actually helps the bite off the corner. You don't want to be too high. Jeff Bryce sailed into fifth after leading the early laps of this race. And here comes Luke Ray, just like we said. Rotates the corner so well. It gets off the corner very well. He's side by side with Gary Ray down the back stretch for the race lead. Everyone going to the bottom. Luke Ray side by side. Door handle, door handle with Gary May. May slides up the track. May might be able to keep second. As Luke Ray takes the lead, he clears Gary May. Does Wendler fill a hole underneath Gary May? He does. Anthony Wendler looking for second. Keith Powell will get to third. Jeff Bright up to fourth. Gary May still falling. He's outside of Grace Ace Vito. Jay Jefferson will go on by as Luke Ray gets the lead here at Darlington. He needs this win badly to get into the chase. And he's, he's showing it with the way he's driving. 
We've just completed nine laps. We've had, what, three different leaders already? There's one there, Keith Powell, Jeff Bray. I'll try to run down uh, Luke Ray. Now here comes Powell underneath Anthony Wendler. I think we see more passes in one and two than three and four. Usually it's the opposite here, Donald. You see more passes in three and four than one and two. You want to be side by side, three, one, two. But these guys making it work just shows why they are some of the best in any series as Wendler falls back to third, possibly even more. If Jeff Bray could stay underneath them, it looks like Wendler might be able to clear right down the front straight with the run off the top. And he can't. Jeff Bright gets to the inside for third. And now three cars are clear. Make it four as Grace Aceville will power on by. Jay Jackson looking for fifth in that A9 Pizza Hut Dodge. As we are about to be a third of the way through this race with Luke Rainey out front. Oh, car got the wall. It was Anthony Wendler in the 10. He's going to fall many positions now. He's fallen. Gary May will get past. Anthony won there back to ninth. Chris Dodd coming. That's 10th. They got Jay Barker and others. See the, the field coming on by. So much damage after hitting the wall. Look back up front. There are five cars that have pulled away. Luke Rainey is leading them around. So we're a third of the way through this race. Look at Jeff Bright. Had a runoff of four. Couldn't get it done. Keith Powell will keep that second position. Possibly Bright still looking. Oh, what a good corner there by Jeff Wright. Stay on the inside. And that just shows how much Jeff Wright needs this win. He needs it just like Luke Rainey does. Jeff Wright's up there in the top five points. However, he doesn't have a win just like Luke Rainey. Jeff Wright to second. Third is Grace Ace Vito and Keith Powell battling side by side. Ace of Vito, last season's champion, moves to third. He's won this season at Talladega, so he's locked in. Keith Powell, Jay Jefferson has won at Richmond. He's locked in for now, but he's on a tight points battle. Look at Jeff Bright's car rotating the corner. Inside of Luke Rain. Two laps in a row. He's going to go for the lead. Looks like 33 might bounce off the wall there as he fell back. Jeff Bright side by side with Luke Rain through three and four. And we're going to have a new race leader here at Darlington as they come off of four. Jeff Bright to the race lead as they come down the front stretch. Luke Rain, he fights back on the outside. He actually leads that lap. But Bright still side by side with the 22. And move Jeff Bright to P number one. Ace Veal falls through to second. Jay Jefferson's going for third. So we're about halfway through this race, just a little bit under. See, they're battling behind with Key Power Crash V-Fan. And that's kind of what Luke Ray wants to see his ring again. Whoa, look at Ace Avito. Look at that car. Came off the quarter so well. He dived, he dove it down to the inside, trying to do a little bit of a crossover there. He went high, then low. Didn't work for him. Jeff Bright holds the lead, but. Bright knows that that two car means business. Bright goes up the track. Ace of Vito looking underneath. Couldn't get it done. So Luke Rainey was leading just a few laps ago. Now he's back to fourth after being stuck on the outside when Jeff Bright passed him. But man, oh man, two of the front four don't have wins this season. Right now, one's leading, one's in fourth. As we are halfway through the, through the trace, the middle of the backstretch this time. Ace Avito just stalking Jeff Bright. We are now halfway through the Southern 300 at Darlington. As we will put the scoreboard up to see where everyone is. See, that's your top 10 at the moment. You see Ace Avito trying to look underneath Jeff Bright. Here's your top 20. Look for your car number there. Top 30. And then 31st to 40th. Let's look at this for a second. Jay Jefferson. Wanting his second win of the season. Those are bonus points to make the chase if he wins. Because each win worth three points. That allowed Jeff Bright to move him away. But he, but Jay Jefferson gets past. Grace Aceville. Can Luke Rainey stay underneath Aceville now for third? He does. He has a big run. So Jay Jefferson moves to second. Luke Rainey moved back to third. Crash B family moved to fourth. Ace Avito slow a, a ton on that top size. Look at Luke Rainey and Jay Jefferson now. As AC will fall all the way back to the uh, back of this line. Meanwhile, Jefferson and Luke Rainey are side by side as they hit three and four. Jeff Brown by himself. Luke Rainey grabs second. AC will got the wall just a little bit. Jefferson will be able to fall to third, possibly if he can get down for a crash B fan. I don't think he'll be able to B fan. Enough of a run there. And we'll get to third. Jefferson will now fall on the outside lane, but there's still time left here at Darlington. Uh, more than 13 laps to go. See, now this pack is actually broken up a little bit. I think the two got the wall. This pack's starting to come together. Uh, Jay Barker, your points leader, leading this pack in 11th. 
12th is Tommy Turbo, 13th is Paul Mick, TJ Hanley in 14th moved Paul Mick up a spot. Although not quite yet, Turbo fighting on the outside, but TJ Hanley will fill the hole on the bottom. And Paul Mick will get to 12th and Hanley will move to 13th, trying to catch Jay Barker as Barker is ahead of TJ in the points. As Crash V-Fan went around uh, Luke Rainey off of two. Rainey only loses one position now that as there was a big separation in the pack. And coming to 12 laps go Jeff Bright. So far dominating the Southern 300 driving team. He got past it. He got right back up to the front. He has a pretty big gap over Crash B-Fan, who is now second. And B-Fan and Luke Rainey going to try and work together. Rainey back on Crash B-Fan. These two have been swapping second place. Rainey had it. And then last lap, Crash B-Fan, that same corner past Luke Rainey for second. Now in that same corner this lap, Rainey will pass Crash B-Fan. Instead, B-Fan will fall back as he scrapes the wall just a little bit, trying to get around the corner. He does. So Crash Free Fair will actually hold the third position. Coming to 10 laps to go. I see this long line back to Anthony Wendler, Grace Ace Vito. That's 10th place right now. 11th is Jay Barker. Paul Mayak's 12th, but Minnick has been coming. TJ Hanley is 13th. As they have not been able to catch Jeff Bright. Luke Rainey and Levi Shones trying everything they can with under 10 laps to go. Anything they can to get to Jeff Bright. And remember, if we see late race pit stops, that could be very treacherous here at Darlington because you can overshoot the pit entry and hit the pit wall end your race and even bring out caution potentially. Come down the back stretch. Here's some cars on the front stretch. They will not be a factor. Obviously, they're not damaged and they're not close enough to affect the race leaders. I don't think they would anyway. If we do catch them, they are definitely not that off pace that they would affect it. Jeff Bright leading. Luke Rainey is closing in. Second, Levi Shones is third. Also, trying to follow Luke Rainey up to the front, but now he looks underneath the 22. Moves him up out of the way. The two Fords are now bell, and I thought they would have tried to work together to catch Jeff Bright. Said this could let Bright get a little bit of a gap out there. Rainey tried to clear off the high side. Couldn't get it done. Can he clear this time in three and four? Goes up the track. He cannot. Gary May will fill a hole. Oh, Sean's really slow. Rainey powers around the outside to get back to second. Sean's either got really tight down the bomb or something happened to him. And Luke Rainey grabbed second position back, but that changed nothing except for the fact that Jeff Bright has pulled away from the rest of the field. Jones is now bound hard with, looks like, Gary May. That's for third. Chris Dodd moves past Crash B fan for fifth. Jones trying to get a run off the top, just like R Luke Rainey did last time. Gary May will get to third. Jones bound back on the outside. That's, that's something to keep an eye on. If someone tries to pass the leader off of turn number four on the last lap, it, it's going to be the guy on the outside. Oh, oh, look out! Contact between Gary May and Levi Shones. Shones into the wall. Gary May might put him in it. That was a very weird thing. It looks like the 30 maybe got loose in the middle of the corner. That's what I thought I saw there. It went up and hit the 43 into the wall. Wow. I would go back and check it, but we are at five laps to go. No contest among the front two, but if something changes... So Gary May and Chris have now cleared that pack. Keith Powell and Jay Jefferson are side by side for the top five. Jefferson will get it off of the 33 as they come down the back stretch. Grace Station moves past. It looks like Levi Shones in the 43. Rainey. Jeff Bright, 1-2. Trying everything they can. Jeff Bright in the five. Season one champion of the Target Series. Comes to see four laps to go at Darlington. If he can make a four more laps with that race lead, he will lock himself into the chase. But Luke Rainey closing just a little bit. Was two tenths faster that time by. Last time it was three tenths. The gap. Let's see what it is this time by. Coming to three laps to go. And right now it's just these two all by themselves. And if someone makes one small mistake, that can change the whole race. If Jeff Wright makes a mistake, Luke Rainey will be on him. If Luke Rainey makes a mistake, Jeff Wright can just coast it to victory. As the gap has increased by half a tenth with three laps to go. So we thought it was going to be a long target race here tonight, but caution-free. And a lot of action has actually made it go by pretty quick. Only 15 minutes the race has been so far. 
as they will come and see two laps to go with Jeff Bray out front. He's dominated the second half of this race. After getting passed early, he led the first, I would say, maybe nine, ten laps. Got passed early on. And then he fought his way back up to the race. Lee Luke Ray closed into three tenths. It's just not going to be enough. As they will come to see the white flag this time. Jeff right out front. Luke Ray behind him in second. As far as the points lead goes, Jay Barker, who was your points leader coming into tonight, will probably keep it as he is 12th in the race. The guy that was trying to catch him, TJ Hanley, is 15th. As the white flag is out. Final lap for Jeff Wright. The gap has closed from the looks of it, but it's not going to be enough. The gap down to a quarter of a second. But no one has anything for Jeff Wright as he rounds one and two. They will come down the backstretch for the final time here tonight. Jeff Wright. As he rounds three and four, Luke Rainey closing in. It's not going to be enough for that 22. Off of turn number four for Jeff Wright. He will win his first race of the season. Lock himself into the chase with the win here in the Southern 300 at Darlington. Chris Dodd was third on the last lap. He gets passed. He looks like he falls back as the rest of the field comes across. Car scraping the wall. Michael Gregory is one of the men who comes to the line. The rest of the field coming across, but Jeff Wright is first win of the season in the Southern 300 at Darlington. Probably one of the toughest tracks in NASCAR, if not the toughest. And it shows that he's going to be a threat once the chase comes along. Let's check the finishing results. Here are the finishing results from the Southern 300 at Darlington. There were no cost flags and three lead changes among three different drivers. And those three drivers that led this race right now finished 1 2 3. That was Jeff Bray who started on pole, led the most laps 23 to win. Luke Rainer led seven, ends up second. And third, Gary May also led three laps. And Jay Jefferson ends up fourth, good run for the A9 team. And Chris Dodd, fifth. In sixth, we had Grace Ace Vito, seventh, Anthony Wendler. 8th is Keith Powell, ninth is Crash V-Fan, and Levi Shones, 10th. So there's your top 20. See, your points leader, uh, Jay Barker, fell some positions on the last lap and ends up 14th. He still holds the points lead over TJ Henley, who finished right behind him in 15th. Those guys have been finishing pretty close together these past few races. Just shows how equal they are. As we look down at the rest of the points, let's go to the point standings. Here are the point standings as we approach the chase. And it's getting close. Remember, only 12 drivers get in with a win. And right now, your points leader, Jay Barker, has a win. TJ Hanley in second also has a win. Jeff Bright with that first win this season moves up to third. He's in the chase. Riley's barely to fourth with a win. And Jason Smeal Jr. right now, your highest with that win in fifth. Gary May is sixth. Seventh is Chris Dodd. Eighth, Jim Gibbett. Ninth is Eli Bright. And tenth is Tyler Lyman. So there's your top 20. See, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12 different winners, 13 in the top 20 right now. Gracie Sfield holds the last one, but Michael Gregory's coming up along with Jonathan Reigns in 22nd. We've got Josh Crash. Alex Stewart's broken his way into the top three. If, say, the 77, the 6, the 18 gets a second win this season, even the double zero, a win would propel him up. If they get a second win this season, they will be locked in because most wins over where you are with a win. It's going to be interesting coming down to these final few races as the next race will be the Verizon 300 Iowa. See you guys then.